Welcome to Germany and welcome to IAA Transportation. Finally, after four years, we are able to invite you back to the newest buses, coaches and trucks of the world. And I can only say one thing, immobility is the keyword of this exhibition. Welcome to the Hall of Buses. This is Hall 23 and this is maybe the only big hall where we find buses on this IAA show this year. And it's a little bit sad because we expected more buses and this is what we get. We don't know what will happen in the future if this is uh, upcoming or downgoing uh, fair, I don't know. But we want to take you around a little bit uh, in this area to take a look at some of the buses we have here. So come on. Behind me we have the new model from Temsa. This is an electric, full electric bus with a range up to approximately 300 kilometers. But inside this 13 meter long coach, or it's a normal floor bus, it's space for 60 passengers. I'm not quite sure where this one will go because it's configured more like a Nordic bus when it comes to isolation. But uh, the rest of the bus, it's more for the middle European market. What I really miss on this IIA show is the brands from Europe. There are a lot of track brands, but there was only, it's only a few buses here. But on the other side, there is a lot of manufacturers from Turkey and also from China. And behind me, we have Casa that have the whole model range of buses. And one of the buses behind me is uh, autonomous. And this one was in Oslo for a short time. And there is another one driving in service in Stavanger. That is maybe the future. I don't know. And Kazan also have something to show us. It's still covered and it's a brand new model. So now we have moved into hall number 19 and here we have one of the biggest stands on the fair. And this is Mercedes-Benz and Daimler. But when we take a look here, there is not a single bus or coach inside of this fair. They are all outside on the parking lot. So instead of taking a look at the buses, we will now get to know another person that also makes YouTube videos. This is It's My Drive from the Netherlands. Hey, I'm Eileen of It's My Drive. And if you don't know me, you can follow me online in my journey through the transport industry. Today, I'm here at the IAA Transportation in Hanover, Germany. Here is where it all happens. All the news about trucks, transport, mobility, buses is presented here. Let me show you some highlights at Daimler Truck. One of the biggest highlights here at Daimler Truck was the reveal of the e-Actros Long Haul, a full electric truck with a range of approximately 500 kilometers and ready for megawatt charging. Another highlight is this e 300 tractor. And the last truck I'd like to show you is this Actros L edition free, limited to only 400 pieces. Now we are moved out to the parking lot and behind me we have the Daimler buses. And here we do have the brand new facelift of the Setra Top Class 500 and the Comfort Class Series of 500. standing at the Volvo stand and as you can see here it's only trucks there is no buses presented here on the Volvo stand and it's the same case like we just saw on Daimler and it's also the same for Emma N 
They only do have one electric bus running around here as a shuttle bus on the outside of the area. Let me mention a couple of the other manufacturers that also have buses presented here on the fair. Scania is here with a citywide. We have Iveco is here with a city bus. BYD is here with an e-bus 12 meter. And there is also different companies here from manufacturers that's not very famous yet. Different kind of bodybuilders and other stuff. And they are interesting to look at, but we have not seen those so much in Europe yet. But maybe their time to shine will come. Behind me, we have a hydrogen bus. It means that you have a hybrid system. You have two fuel cell units and the battery pack. So it gives this bus a really long range. So you don't need to be afraid of running out of power. You only need to have the possibility to fuel the hydrogen. This bus is made in cooperation with Sina Synergy and Marco Polo. And the one that we see behind us is a prototype, but it will be running in Israel. But now it's time to move on. It's time to reveal the bus of the year. 2023. Our next award this evening is the International Bus of the Year Award. This year, 23 jury members came together in Limerick, Ireland. Here to tell us more and most importantly to announce the winner is the jury president. He's been running the Norwegian transport magazine Bus Magazine since 2002. He's been president of the jury since 2016. Please welcome Tom Toyesen. Uh, we are 23 jury members from all over Europe, but we have focus on the bus and, and coach industry for the whole world. We had five buses this year. It was uh, Volvo, Heiger, Azure, um, as I said, Spence AC Tower, Kassan e Atta, and MAN Lion City 12E. As we all know, it's only one winner. The winner has big appetite on passenger, just like a hungry lion. The winner of the International Bus of the Year 2023 is the Emma and Lion City E. We are very proud. Therefore, first of all, thank you to the team. Congratulations to all the finalists. For us, Emma and it's a huge pressure to have this award, especially when we learn that we have to go to Limerick. But I think we have done the best out of it. Uh, we took the opportunity and drove 2,500 kilometers in 10 days through eight cities and countries, and especially over the Alps. And for us, it was a huge challenge to see and to prove the efficiency of the MIN Lion City E. Then, being there in Limerick, we had a great fun and two days of testing, or even three. And I really like to thank the whole jury. And for us, MIN, it's a huge importance to have this award. First, it's the first e-bus in life of City Bus of the Year, but also internally for our whole team who have contributed so much to get the best concept out in the market. And therefore, many thanks to our team here at MIN. Also, again, thanks to the jury. And we have a wonderful event in Limerick. Thank you very much. We are very pleased and really grateful. Thank you. And with that, we will say goodbye here from IAA and also big congratulations to MIN with the winner of the Bus of the Year 2023. If you like what you see, please click down here. The button is called subscribe and then you will see all the future videos here from us in Bus Magazine. Until then, drive safe, have a great day.